The center has refused to consider marital rape as an act of crime. The government maintained this in a written reply in parliament and claimed that the concept of marital rape cannot be applied in India as marriage is treated as sacred. Minister of State for Home Hari Bhai P. Chaudhary has said that there is no proposal to bring any amendment to the law for criminalizing marital rape. DMK's Kani Mori had asked the Home Ministry whether the government was considering amending the law to bring marital rape under the ambit of sexual crimes. Despite Law Commission's recommendation in 2000 and Justice Verma panel's report in 2013 that marital rape continues to be unrecognized by law. Preeti Chaudhary is now joining us with more details. Preeti, at a time when internationally marital rape is being recognized as a crime, this stand of the Ministry of Home Affairs is likely to be seen as regressive. Well, you're a bang on, uh, Maha, and what's most important at this point of time is to actually realize uh, that uh, whether or not the government stands behind what uh, this particular minister said, because let's go back in history. Let's go back to the year 2000 and subsequently from there, each and every law commission has advised the government to include, include uh, marital rape uh, and criminalize it where the rape uh, section 375 is concerned. Let's go back to the year 2012, right after the Nirbhaya rape, Justice Varma in his report had stated categorically that that marital rape should be criminalized. Why did it resonate in the parliament today? Well, let's give our viewers a little more perspective on that. Uh, the UN has conducted a study in India and uh, has come to a ballpark figure and it's 75 percent stating that 75 percent women in marriages are raped and that mm. was what was picked up as a question by Kanni Modi and uh, was posed and when it was said the uh, the MOS home turned around and said, keeping in mind the social structure of our society, you cannot include marital rape. Why was it? There were many, many parliamentarians, mm. especially women who have gotten up and taken a stand earlier. Okay. Why was it that they refused to say anything mm. when this statement was made on the floor of the House? Considering it is a bona fide report which suggests that 75% women in marriages are raped. Let me go across to Kavita Krishnan. Preeti, stay on with us. Uh, Kavita, as Preeti, our correspondent is mentioning there that uh, there is a report that suggests 75% women are raped in marriage. Even uh, though those figures exist, the government refuses to uh, recognize marital rape as a criminal offense. See, I think that uh, for me what is more shocking is uh, not just that they are not recognizing it as a criminal offense, but the fact that they are able to say marriage is a sacrament in mm. India, okay, which means you are telling women that even those women who want to exit such abusive marriages, okay, uh, you will say that they are, uh, uh, you know, they are wrong because they are morally wrong because they are breaking a, a, a sacrament, a sacred tie, right? So that is that is what I find far more offensive. To me, there are many studies, not just the one you are naming. There are other studies. There's a study of men in eight states where male respondents have been asked if they have ever forced their uh, partners uh, in marriage uh, into unwanted sexual contact. And more than 50% of the men said, yes, they have. All right. So this is clearly a very, very widespread phenomenon. If you look at the phenomenon of domestic violence, that is also extremely huge. So obviously we know that someone who is capable of domestic violence against a wife is very likely also raping his wife. Hmm. So how do we respond to it? I am willing to argue about whether or not we should criminalize, whether we should look for, but at least let us recognize the problem to begin with. And then discuss from there uh, whether we want to include it under the criminal law, whether we want to bring in other protections. What is it we want to do about it? Hmm. But to tell women it's a, okay. it's a sacred hmm. sacrament, live with rape. Hmm. is something which is absolutely, uh, I think, shocking and uh, unacceptable on the hmm. part of our legislators. Kavita, since 52 countries uh, recognize uh, marital rape as a criminal offense, this act of India, as stated by the Ministry of Home Affairs in Parliament, will it clearly be seen as regressive? It is nothing but regressive. The response of the government is absolutely regressive. The Justice Varma Committee had also unambiguously uh, recommended that marital rape, the exemption to marital rape be removed. And uh, I would also stand by that. And I would say that uh, uh, to tell uh, wives in marriage that uh, essentially uh, it's a sacrament and so they have to live with rape or they have to live with domestic violence is something which I find absolutely unacceptable and uh, totally, uh, totally unacceptable indeed from our government. 
And, Ka uh, Kavita, help us understand that uh, at the present moment, if a woman takes the plea to the police that uh, she has been abused in her marriage, wh what does the police do at present? See, uh, currently the only law available to address violence inside marriage is 498A, which is the which is uh, you know the uh, linked with domestic cruelty. Okay, so the only criminal law available for any form of domestic violence, not just rape. Okay, any form of domestic violence is 498A, and we all know that uh, because of the huge restrictions being placed on 498A. Uh, now, what is happening is that even those do not immediately get converted into criminal complaints. Uh, what happens is that you are sent into counselling and there is a big attempt to attempt uh, to pressurise you not to file a criminal complaint. And at the end of the day, perhaps, you know, after a whole lot of uh, negotiations and other counselling completely fails, then and only then is a criminal complaint actually mm -hmm. registered by the police. Mm -hmm. Where domestic violence of other kinds is concerned is that you can go and ask for a seek protection under the Domestic Violence Act. Okay. So a woman can seek protection. Mm -hmm. But any woman who says, I am being raped in my marriage, mm -hmm. essentially no police <laughs> is going to recognize that. At best, if they are very sensitive, they're going to say, well, seek protection under the Domestic Violence Act All as right. any form of violence. All right. And the funny part is that the rape will be registered okay. if you say that... Uh, he is committing, uh, you know, uh, so-called unnatural sexual acts with me. So under 377, which is a regressive law in itself because it criminalizes certain kinds of sexual acts, mm -hmm. that uh, if, if a wife complains of, that her husband is uh, committing those acts with her, okay. then uh, a criminal complaint can be registered okay. and has been registered by the way. Okay, let me go across to Abha Singh also. She's a senior lawyer. Abha, I'd like to ask you that the, uh, that the argument that the government gives is that in India, marriage is treated as a sacrament. Now, but with, uh, is that argument really valid when it comes to, uh, to something like torture and abuse of a woman in marriage? See, if you talk of torture and abuse, then there are various sections under the Indian Penal Code. When you have 498A, you have domestic violence. So you can seek legal remedies and recourse under these eyes. But, but, but Abha, it, it will it, not be recognized as a criminal no. offence. Isn't that injustice to women? See, what is the justice if you say that way that you want legal remedy, you have under other sections. But uh, in India, you have not achieved, if you're trying to say, there are 17 states in U.S. which uh, uh, treat marital rape as offense. Even Australia treats uh, marital rape as an offense. But in India, if you see recently, Supreme Court passed an order in which it said that 498A was being misused by the police and 25% of the cases were wrong. There were relatives in U.S. and all who had nothing to do with violence, where uh, uh, Charges were done fine against them, FIRs were done against them. So there is a grave chance of misuse and our uh, legal our court for burden, this would be an additional burden, forget that, but our levels of literacy and the whole concept of marriage, it would be very difficult to segregate whether it's a husband-wife quarrel or but, it is but a But Abha, I'd like to interrupt you there because I have I some statistics which say that only 1% of women in India go to the police uh, with charges of uh, marital rape and whereas there is another set of statistics that says there are at least 75 percent women in india who are raped uh, under the guise of marriage See, it is very subjective. How do you define that it is a um, marital rape or it is a husband-wife physical relationship? So there it is uh, very difficult to come across. But if it is violence, if it is uh, um, uh, anything pertaining to that, you have injury, you have section under 321 of offense, if it is uh, causing hurt to a woman, violence, domestic cruelty, 498. Uh, so it, I'd like to it, come it in here. It will be subjective uh -huh. and it will be I'd left like for to the police. I just want to ask you a question. You know? How is marital rape subjective? How can you character? How 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 is it? Two questions, Abha. Just two questions. One, how is marital rape subjective? You just said so. On the other hand, how is a law? How can a law be misused when it's not even a law in the first place? Most of our laws are done. Most we follow we follow the rule book of the United Kingdom, Abha. Till now, we followed the rule book of the United Kingdom. Four years back, the United Kingdom said very clearly that marital rape is a criminal offense even if we go by that we should have criminalized it secondly there are a lot of women out there who will take grave offense when you say marital rape is subjective 
How is it subjective? How can we contextualize marital rape in this country in terms of social barriers? How? I'm not understanding that. You have to see that you give only unlimited powers to the police to misuse it, to knock off money as it is happening in the 498A. So till the time we have strict parameters or we... because We, we need a law before we have strict parameters, Abha. No, we don't. We don't. 498 days, you see. I mean, uh, uh, conviction. How many cases we So you're conviction? saying, you're I mean, saying when Justice Varma, when the you're saying off, it was wrong. And we give something to the police to misuse. And who defies marital rape? Is it the only the woman who? defines or the husband also has a say in that? We cannot have law, one-sided law. It needs to be seen that the husband's interests are also guarded. But Abha, the very definition of rape is, uh, is somebody imposing themselves on you. See, well, how do you call him? Well, that's what I said. What is the you wicked? You know, Abha, you're subscribing. Abha, once violence. again, you once again, you're police. subscribing to an you archaic ideology no, which you suggests... No, get a medical done and get it registered. If there is violence in it, you have sections... Abha, once you again, can... you're subscribing <laughs> to an archaic ideology which suggests that how do you prove rape in a marriage? See, that is what I'm saying. That would come in the court of law. How do you prove? But there, how can it come into the court of law when there is no law? There is no law, Abha. How can it come into the court of law? There is it no law. It will not stand the trial. It will not stand in the trial because you require some evidence. You see how conviction level is so poor. So, so there no we should not have a law. It will be not recognized as a marital rape as an act of crime. How do they? How do they have that provision? See, they have it. They, 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 I would say they are definitely more evolved in our country. Our literacy levels, our judicial system, even the normal cases take years to uh, come to court. Nonetheless, first you d have a discussion on it, debate on it. How do you discuss? You know, the law commission should sit over it. It cannot be just made ki that you pass a law and then it is not upheld. It is violated. It is misused. You give it something to the police. So I think it should be put to the commission. Let them evolve. That how do they implement what sections they uh, have to safeguard a marriage? Because any husband wife stiff and the wife goes and says I've been raped, he has imposed himself. There is a very slender line in this and so we cannot jump to it immediately, we cannot aid the West. We need our own uh, uh, law commission or something to sit over it, call the women organizations and then see what has to be done. This is a very sensitive matter. You break down the whole concept of marriage if you just impose it like this. All right, uh, this was a response by the Ministry of Home Affairs in Parliament uh, that uh, marital rape uh, will not be recognized as a criminal offense. Ranjana Kumari is also on the phone line with us. Ranjana, uh, a completely regressive uh, stand there taken by the Indian government, would you say? Well, it's totally regressive because this is not from the understanding that we expect from, you know, the people who are sitting and legislating in the Parliament. There is... This is a reality. It has been recognized by everywhere in the world. All the progressive countries have legislated on that because a lot of women silently suffer it. There is, this is totally unacceptable situation where women are forced, coerced, and also sometimes brutalized by the, uh, their husband in marriage. So I think this is totally uh, something which is, uh, you know, uh, I feel very surprised that, you know, they have not had any discussion with any groups. They have not tried to make any attempt to understand what this issue is. Hmm. There is no information with them about all this issue. So how have they really on their own decided that this is not applicable in India hmm. and this cannot be legislated? And clearly there's likely to be a lot of furor over that issue where the Ministry of Home Affairs does not recognize marital rape as uh, a criminal offense, saying that marriage in India is considered sacred. Ranjana Kumari there and Preeti Chaudhary, many thanks uh, for giving us a perspective and details on that story.